Hey everybody, let's take a look at uh, uh, some equations. This is an interesting little concept we're going to kind of work on today. But let's take a look first off. If we have this equation to the left, look at that, x plus 6 equals 10. Obviously the answer to x is what? 4, right? Okay. We can actually take this entire equation and multiply it by 3 on both sides and just see what happens, okay? So let's multiply it by 3 and see what happens. Well, 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 10, 30. We there? Okay. How do we solve the equation? Yoink. Minus 18. There it is. 3 times x is equal to 30 minus 18 is 12. 3 times what gives you 12? The answer is again 4, just like it always was. Or at least it wasn't the first time. Okay. So the point is, you can take an equation and multiply everything all the way across by some number or divide by some number or whatever, and you'll still get the same answer. So it doesn't really change anything or mess anything up. We're going to use that fact to help us do something today that you're going to like a lot better than the way we've been doing things before. You're going to like this, this version much better. So this is our old version, okay, what we've been doing. And you don't have to write this all down, but just kind of keep your head in this. Solve by substitution. It would help if you paused it and tried to solve it. So if you could do that really quickly, that would be good. If not, no big deal. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Okay, solve by substitution. I'm going to take this one and piddle with that. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. X is equal to, and I'm move the 2y over. That gives me 8 is equal, excuse me, x is equal to 8 minus 2y. So that's the same thing as x. That's what I'm going to stick down here in this equation so I can solve it. All right, so I'm not going to put 5 times x anymore. I'm going to put 5 times 8 minus 2y. That minus this 2y equals 4. So 5 times 8, oh, might have put 16 for some reason, that's 40. 5 times negative uh, 2 is negative 10. y minus 2y equals 4. So this many y will give me negative 12y. And 4 minus 40 will give me negative 36. Negative 36 divided by negative 12 is 3. So y is 3. I'll go back in here. What the heck, I'll just go in the original equation. Uh, x here is equal to 8 minus 2 times 3. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, so 8 minus 6 will be 2, and that's the way we've done before using substitution, okay? This way, we're going to do next, is much more fun. Uh, you're going to like this a little better because you get to hack this to pieces and just cross out a whole column, which is very satisfying, okay? Look at this. This is the same, look, look I have the same problem. You see that? Nothing's moving, all right? That's the same problem. This time we're going to go solve by elimination. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, you recognize, you probably recognize that uh, this has a 2y and this has a 2y. And don't get too caught up in negatives and positives and all that jazz, except for your job in elimination is to eliminate. You're going to get rid of either your y's or your x's. Either one, whichever one's easiest. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to add or subtract right up and down as if you're, I mean, we've done this before. You, you've done millions of these. 373 plus 628 or whatever. You just go foom, foom, foom like that, right? Or you have 739 minus 150, you know, 2 or whatever. And you just go whoosh, 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 and you subtract and you borrow sometimes. This you won't need to borrow, but you do go right up, straight up and down. And you, you hack out one uh, column and it's very satisfying. So anyway, look at this. You can go, wait a minute. There's twos here. There's a positive 2y here. There's a negative 2y right below it. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go, and we're going to add these together. Okay? And if you add these together, we can go left to right or right, or right to left, doesn't matter. x plus 6x, I mean, 5x gives you 6x. I'm going to head myself there. Now, this is the neat part. Positive 2y plus negative 2y gives you 0y, right? There's nothing left. So you're just going to add those two. Yoink, gone. 8 plus 4 you know is 12. x is equal to, therefore, 2. Now you can go back and substitute the 2 in either one of these equations and then figure out, you know, what the other uh, answer is. You know what, let's just do the second one. What the heck? I got 5x, which is the same thing as 10, right? 10 minus 2y equals 4. Okay, I'm going to take my 2y 
Mm -hmm. Over there, 4 minus 10 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. X is 2, Y is 3. Well, that's, here's our last slide. X is 2, Y is 3. The difference is we went, you know, I can just eliminate one of those columns by just adding straight up or straight down. Now, if, again, don't forget if you subtract a negative in algebra, that's the same thing as, as adding. So you don't want to say, oh, 2y minus negative 2y, because that's I mean, 2 minus a negative 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 2. So you don't want to do that. A positive 2 added to a negative 2, that gives you 0. That's what you want. And sometimes you're going to have to, to subtract, because they'll be the same number, exact number. Like this will be a negative 2, and that will be a negative 2. So you don't want to add those together, because negative 2 plus negative 2 will give you negative 4. It doesn't help you any. So you need to subtract those. So anyway, let's try another one. Okay, let's eliminate, so pause this, and uh, take a second here, all right? Again, when you solve by elimination, your job is to get either the x numbers the same or the y numbers the same. They don't have to be the same sign, they just have to be the same number. In other words, you could have, you know, an a, a 32x here and a 32x there. Then you would go, oh, 32 minus 32 is 0, <whistles> got rid of the x's. Or you might have a negative 15y here and then a negative 15y there. Then you'd go, okay, well, I'm going to have to go negative 15y minus negative 15y because that would be the same thing as negative 15y plus 15y, which <whistles> cuts that out. So anyway, any number subtracting itself is 0, right? So that's all you need to figure out. Okay, well, look at this. What's wrong here? Okay, the answer is the 2x and the 3x, they don't have the same number of x's. And the y and the 4y, we don't have the same number of y. So, you, so it's your choice. If you want to get rid of the x's, you can get rid of those. If you want to get rid of the y's, you can get rid of, the, rid of those instead. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just say, well, let's get rid of the y's. Okay, we'll get rid of the y's. Well, this is, remember, if there's nothing written there, a 1. Now, a couple of slides back, we remember we did this. And we went, oh, I'm going I'm to multiply this entire equation by 3, and this is the equation I got, but it still worked. Everything was just fine, okay? We're going to use that fact to help us here, okay? So in other words, we're going to take this equation here, which is only a 1y, and we're going to multiply the entire thing by 4, so it's a 4y, just like this is a 4y. Now, they're different signs, but we can, we can work with that later. Don't worry about that, okay? So let's go ahead and take the top equation. And you tell me, if we multiply the entire thing by 4, what's the first thing we get? 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative y is negative 4y. 4 times 13, you might not know that one, but the answer is 52. Okay? And now I'm just going to copy this, this same thing over. I got 3x. I got 4y. I got 3. Okay. I'll stop right there. We're going to either subtract or add. If we have a negative 4 and a positive 4, that means we're going to add them, right? Because negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That's what the idea is. We're going to eliminate one whole column. So go ahead and stick a big plus out there, and it goes all the way across. So 8x plus 3x, 11x, right? Negative 4 plus 4, <coughs> gone. 52 plus 3, 55. 55 divided by 11, the answer is 5. So x is equal to 5, all right? Now that we know that, our only job now is to find out what y is. Uh, so, I mean, you can go back to these one of these original equations, the top or the bottom, doesn't matter which. I'd pick the easier one and stick the x in there somewhere and then figure out, you know, what you get as an answer. I'll just do the bottom one. So I'll go 3 times x. x is 5. So I got 15. 15 plus 4y equals 3. Okay? Now I'm going to move the 15 over. And 3 minus 15 is negative 12. Well, negative 12 divided by positive 4 is negative 3. So there's my answer. Okay? All right. And that's how you eliminate. Okay. Uh, let's do a couple more of these. And uh, go ahead and copy this down. You know, pause if you need to. Now here's a real stinker. Look at this thing. Like, you can't just take one of these and go, Oh, I multiply that by... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'll just multiply, because uh, nothing, no integer multiplied by 2 gives you 3, or by 3 gives you 4. 
So here's the hardest kind that we have, which are really not that terribly hard. Either choose the Y's or the X's, whatever you want. You know what? We did Y's last time. We'll just do the X's this time, okay? We're going to have to make this 2X and this 3X the same number. So all you need to do is go, okay, what do 2 and 3 both go into? Well, they both go into 6, right? So what we're going to have to do, in other words, is find, we're going to have to turn this into 6X. We're going to have to turn this into 6X as well. So you tell me, if this needs to be 6X, this whole right here, what do we need to multiply this entire line by? 3, right? Okay. This one needs to also be 6X. So what does this need to be uh, multiplied by? 2, right? Usually it's just, you know, it's just whatever this is here, you multiply by that and this by that, and that'll always work, okay? So let's go ahead and do the multiplication right across. 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times negative 3y, negative 9y. 3 times 5, 15. Don't forget to do your, this last number. Don't just leave it at 5, okay? 2 times 3x, 6x again. 2 times 4y, 8y. 2 times 8, negative 18. That'll be uh, negative 36. And now you tell me, now that I've got a 6x here and a 6x there, am I going to add or subtract everything? It's subtract, right? Because you don't want to add 6x plus 6x. That's give you 12x. doesn't help you at all. Okay, so we're going to subtract the whole shebang here. Boom. There we go. All right? Well, obviously that minus that, gone. Okay, now here's the tricky part. I got a negative 9 minus an 8. So negative 9 y minus 8y is what I have. Well, the answer is negative 17y. Okay, here's the other tricky part. I got a 15 here minus a negative 36, which just means uh, I'm going to have plus 36. That's going to give me 51. Okay, and almost all of these are contrived to give you integers, nice whole you know, numbers as answers. So don't worry about it. You see something like this, you go, what? I don't know my 17's tables. You don't have to. It's pretty simple. 51 divided by negative 17. First off, it's a negative. And it goes in three times. So there we go. And there's, there's your uh, y. It's negative 3. Now let's go back to one of these equations. This one looks a little easier to piddle with. I'll just copy this down again. 2x minus 3y equals 5. Now my job is to find the x, right? So 2x, I don't know what it is. Uh, minus 3 times minus 3 is going to be plus 9. That equals 5. So 2x equals 5 minus 9 or negative 4. So x equals negative 4 divided by 2 or negative 2. And there we go. And you got it. And it'll always work. Multiply the top number by the bottom coefficient and then the top coefficient by the bottom coefficient just like this 3 and 2. And by the way, had we done, I think we might even do this again. Yeah, let's do this again. We look, look at this, the same, same exact thing, except this time we're going to get rid of y. Same exact problem, we're going to get rid of y, okay? You tell me, using the same problem, if we want to get rid of this y and that y, what do we need to multiply the top by? Okay, 3 and 4 both go into 12, right? So these both need to be 12. So this is going to have to be multiplied by 4 to make that 4 times the 3 is 12. This will have to be multiplied by the 3. So again, 4 over 3, 3 over 4, that's how you do it. Okay? So let's just do it right across. 4 times 2x, 8x. 4 times negative 3y, negative 12y. 4 times 5, 20. Okay, good. 3 times 3x, 9x. Um, 3 times 4y, positive 12y. Wait a minute, did we just multiply? No, we just didn't. Okay. Uh, 3 times negative 18 is negative 54. That's not one we might have necessarily known, but it's okay. Okay. Well, we're going to... You tell me. Are we adding now to get rid of this, or are we subtracting? Which one? Adding, right? Because if you go negative 12y minus 12y, that's going to give you negative 24y. We don't want that. We're going to add this right down, which means we're going to add everything. 8x plus 9x, 17x. 20 plus negative 54, in other words, you know, 20 minus 54. And don't forget, you got two numbers, you just flip them. 54 minus 20 is 34, and it's a negative, okay? Divide by 17, and this is going to go nice and evenly. That will be negative 2, okay? We won't, we won't go back and do everything again, but all you need to do is stick the value of x in one of these original equations, 
uh, or one of these if you want to, it doesn't matter. Um, just stick it back in one of them and then solve for Y and then boom, you're done. Okay, all right, we'll do one, another one, solve this by elimination. So you know what, pause it, give it a whirl, see what you get. Copy it down, pause it and see what you get. Okay, now I, again, I want to make sure you understand. It doesn't matter if you you know eliminate it to x or you eliminate to y. Whatever is easier for you. You might say, oh, I'm, I just see a two and a three, and I'm just going to get rid of those. I know two and three go into six. Okay, fine, let's do it. We'll take that as a three, and that as a two. And that's what we're going to multiply all the way across to. So if you multiply it by three, now again, I realize that some of you guys might have done this differently, but it's okay. Either way, any, any way you do this is fine. Okay, so let's go. That'll be six x. That'll be 15y, and that'll be 3 times negative 7. Okay, this will be 6x as well. This will be negative 8y, and this will be 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, now if you look at this, you got a 6x and a 6x. Are you going to subtract or add to get rid of that? Subtract, right? So the subtraction has to go all the way across, or shebang, as the mathematicians use that word. So subtract, that's gone. 15 minus the negative 8 is the same thing as 15 plus 8. So that'll be 15 plus 8. 20, negative 21 minus 2 is negative 23. Gee, look at there. Okay. So obviously the answer to this, y is equal to negative 1. All right? And we can go back in here and use either one of these equations. doesn't matter which. Let's just do the bottom one since it's right there. So, okay, so I have 3x minus 4 times y. Well, y is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. Equals 1. Okay, well, 3x is equal to 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Well, divide by 3, and of course, look at there. x is also negative 1. Okay, so they're both negative 1. All right. And again, you could have, you could have looked at this and gone, I'm going to get rid of the y's. I'm multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 5. Boom, 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 boom. You would have done it, and you would have got x's first. Then you would have substituted something for x. Then you would have got y. Would have worked the same way. Okay? All right. Try A on the practice problem set and pause it. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to just for the heck of it, I'm going to take the second one, 4 and a 3. So I'll multiply this by 3 and that by 4. And again, you might have done this differently. It doesn't matter. As long as you do the arithmetic and the multiplication right, you got it. There'll be no problem. Okay. So 3 all the way across will give me 9x plus 12y, 3 times negative 7. Okay. Over here, I got uh, 4 times 2x is 8x. And then 4 times, that'd be 12y. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Okay. All right. So I am going to subtract everything in this the whole thing. This, is, this can get tricky, the subtraction part. All right, so there we go. We know that's gone, all right? 9x minus 8x. Oh, well, that's convenient, just 1x, okay? Here's the tricky part. What is negative 21 minus a negative 24? Now, if you need to, go up there and go like this. Negative 21 plus 24, that's what you're gonna do, okay? So the answer to that is three. There we go, so x is three. All right, now let's go ahead and put it back in one of these. It doesn't matter, either one of these uh, equations. I, I'll just do the top one, right? Okay, so I'll go three times x, which is three, so that's nine. Nine plus four y equals negative seven. All right, well, I got four y, which means I'm gonna have four y equals negative seven <whistles> minus nine, which is negative, it's a big negative 16, okay? So y is equal to negative 16 divided by 4, and there you go. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what way you did it. If you did it right, you would have the same answer I got. Okay, pause it and try B. <clears throat> okay, I think I, I should have a y here. All right, there we go. That should be a y. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do the first one. Seems easiest to me. I'll multiply this by... 2, so I get 10x, and then this by 5, so I get 10x. So I got, uh, I'm just going to do it down here this time. So 10x is top, plus 4y equals negative 6. Bottom, 10x 
plus 5 times 3, 15y, equals 5 times negative 10, or negative 56. Or excuse me, just negative 50. All right, if I have a 10x here and a 10x here, that means I'm going to have to subtract everything. Gone. Done. 4 minus 15 is going to be negative 11. And that might have tripped up a few of us, but it's okay. Negative 6 minus negative 50, another tricky one. Negative 6 minus negative 50 means negative 6 plus 50. Okay, that's key. And of course, you can just put this in front. 50 minus 6 is your answer, so there you go, 44. Divide by negative 11, a positive. Divided by a negative is a negative, and there's your answer for y, all right? And we can go up here and use either one of these to solve for x by just substituting y. Well, I'll just use this one, move it up here. So I've got 2 times x, and then I have 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. That equals negative 10. All right, so 2x. I move this over. I have uh, 12 minus 10, which is 2. And of course, x is equal to 1, and there we go. There are our two answers. Okay, hope that helped. Uh, you guys have a great day. See you next time.